And gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Bursa, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. Delighted today to present to you a Bayliner 285. Now this ever popular cruiser has a 350 Mercruiser Magnum. It's a 300 horsepower petrol engine. Now she's a 2008 but was officially commissioned and launched in 2009. And I wanted to start here in the yard just so we could show you the extensive and rigorous process that these boats go through when we get them in for stock. Now this one here has just been ceramic coat machine polished. You can see the shine off her is absolutely fantastic. It's like looking into a mirror, almost. So a big well done to the valeting team. Now down below you can also see she's been freshly anti-filled in black. That matches the hull band and also the canopies up there. Great spec on her. She's got a bow thruster, accommodation for six, a Simrad glass dash with a chart plotter. She's got a VHF as well. Absolutely everything you would want from a cruiser. She certainly has it. You can see there's trim tabs on either side. And I just wanted to show you the dual props. Not a dink, not a nick anywhere. The boat really is in mint condition, but I won't spoil it too much now. Let's get her in the water and we'll show you what she looks like afloat. So the 285 is undoubtedly one of the most innovative designs that Bayliner ever came up with, or any boat builder, to be honest. The wide beam forward design means that the space you get downstairs in the saloon and cabins is unparalleled in any 28 foot cruiser. Now, when you saw this out in the yard, you saw it underneath, you saw the hull, how it's been machine polished, ceramic coat polished, in fact. But we've also just done the gearbox oils, They've been changed, the rams have been changed, we've done a full outdrive service and also we have checked the bellows as well. So the boat really is in mint condition, turnkey, ready to go. Now you've got a towing eye at the rear, you've got storage just off to the side as well and then the whole of this swim platform is covered in non-skid. Canopies are in perfect condition, let's take a little look on board. So straight away as we enter, there's a hot and cold transom shower. Now we've got four cup holders that go up the backrest and then a very social and configurable seating area here. You can manage this in different ways. The bench collapses if you just want to maximise floor space. Also this bolster here flips back and forward. So you've got seating for six around the table and there's also storage underneath the bench seat there. And the thing about this 285 is the more and more I look, the more I find that Bayliner really have used every single last inch of space on the boat, be it for storage, saloon areas, just general space. There's so much of it and it's so innovative. It really just blows my mind, it really does. So we have a bench seat here. You can sort of use that as a chaise lounge or a navigator seat moving forward when you are underway. You've got seating for four around that and opposite is the helm station. So let me just show you what the cockpit looks like from up here. A real good social boat this. And now it is officially a single helm. At a squeeze, you could probably get two people on it. However, the dash and the helm is very, very well appointed. So we, of course, have our steering wheel. Now a Simrad glass dash, so you can see in detail that has chart plotting and GPS capabilities. There is also a transducer underneath, so you get the sonar suite. If I just go to it. Gives you an accurate representation of the topography underneath you. Always helpful if you're fishing or if you're coming into a shallow bay and you're not too familiar with the waters that you're in. Bow thruster, electric trim tabs, and then a GPS as well. And then when you're underway, you do really get a good commanding view out over the helm. This windshield is perfect. So it's not below eye level or above it's just perfect so you can sit here underway and the ride of the boat is just so that you don't need to be leaning or standing you can sit down enjoy the ride take in the views with your passengers let's take a little look downstairs in the saloon such an abundance of space down here in the 285 you would not believe that this cruiser is only 20, 28 and a half feet long you've got sleeping accommodation for six in comfort this here drops into a double berth. 
you've got your toilet just off to the starboard side of your heads if you want to be technical about it then in here we have the aft cabin i'll show you that momentarily so let's start all the way over here in the galley a hot and cold stainless steel sink quartz corian worktop Add to the class and decorum, a nice shine comes off it, really makes it feel nice and airy in here. And then we do have twin alcohol electric burners. So if you're plugged into shore power, great, fire up the electric. If not, alcohol tabs go in there and it means that you can cook while underway or if you're out on one of the islands for the weekend. Microwave oven. And then we also have a control for the Jensen onboard stereo system. Plenty of storage underneath the galley here. You've got another storage locker underneath the bed and then two underneath the saloon as well. So the saloon, you've got seating for four, a huge table, and then there is also great headroom. So if you're sat there, you're not cooped up, hunching over, you really, really do feel like there is plenty of space. It's nice and airy in here. There's huge hull side windows. And then these portholes really just let natural light flood in here. It's amazing, it really is. So we've got a fridge. And I'll show you what this looks like when you convert it to a double berth. There we go. You do have a very large double berth, or if you just want to use this as accommodate, um, not as accommodation, but as a lounge area, sit, lean up against this, and watch the huge, sharp, flat screen television that we have on board. There's still plenty of storage space underneath. And you really get a feeling when this berth is down of the space that Bayliner have created down here. It's called Wide Beam Forward was the initiative behind the design. They've raised the platform and they've really, really extended the width of the boat. It just means that it feels so spacious and airy down here. You're probably fed up of me saying that, but you really need to come down and see the boat to believe it. So we do have overspill seating just off to the port side as well. There is storage underneath there as well. And then you do have up front a very large triangular double berth. Now, there's a great width to it. You have just a little over six feet worth of length as well. Windows to port and starboard. And then a curtain comes all the way across to seal it off for your own privacy. Let me show you what the boat looks like from up here. Superb. I think what we'll do, we'll get this back up and then we'll show you the heads. We've got the aft cabin to show you and also the engine. Superb. You've got full standing headroom in the heads. The shower area is recessed so you don't have any water spilling out onto your carpets. Pump flush toilet, we've got a waste tank. There is also the sea discharge option as well. Hot and cold sink, just pulls out, clips in there, forms a shower, and you can pull the curtain across, seal this off, make it waterproof. Now, up the back, you also have storage lockers. Two of them, toothpaste, toiletries, anything like that, store them in there, out of sight. So you've got your 230 volt electrical switchboard in here, plenty of recessed areas for storage, just general storage, or if you want to keep any of your personal items tucked away in here, you certainly can. Now, healthy sized storage locker in here. There is also a rail, so you can put a coat hanger or two over there if you need to hang something up. And then this berth is full beam. You do have a slightly raised platform up against the bulkhead, just where there's a, a shelf, so to speak. So you can store items up there as well. Extra storage is always a bonus. There is one cabin light up there and you also have another here. And then there's another one just in this part as well. So, I remember my uncle had one of these back in 2007 and myself, my mother and my father on weekends away we were always able to get in here and it wasn't a squeeze, there is plenty of space and it really just means that if you are the sole owner of this boat or you want to bring friends, families aboard, you certainly can do. Two families can easily stay on this for a weekend. Oh, 
Always smart, Bayliner have recessed this area so you have full changing headroom in here. Let's go up and take a little look at the engines. Or engine, there's only one. It's just under there. Powered by a Mercury Mercruiser 350 Magnum. So that is a 300 horsepower petrol engine. Now, as you saw at the beginning of the video, she's on an out drive and also has dual props. So I'm sure we'll all agree, you know, this is a lovely tidy boat. If you're after something in the 28 to 29 foot range that sleep sits brand new, well, you simply will not find one, not without spending at least 150, 160,000 pounds. But for this, I'm sure we'll all agree, you know, the boat is as good as new, has all the extras you'd want. Simrad glass dash, sonar, GPS, chart plotter, bow thruster, electric trim tab, VHF. Absolutely everything. We've got accommodation downstairs for six, a huge flat screen TV. So a boat like this, why buy brand new when you could buy something that's really been cared for, loved, and has been well looked after. I hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.